beholding David. 2 Samuel 11, 2 says, When the evening came, David arose from the bed, walked around the roof, and from the roof he saw a woman bathing. David watched the bath of Bathsheba. It was a deliberate look. It was a desirous look. That was the earliest form of watching live porn. You ask the question, what does the Bible teach about porn? Here is the answer. David watched live porn. And the Bible says, in 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 27, the Bible says, the thing that David did displeased the Lord. The thing that David did displeased the Lord. Now, it's not wrong to look at a man or a woman and say, there goes a handsome man, there goes a pretty lady. But when admiration of beauty becomes lust, when this happens, Job chapter 31 and verse 1, Eugene Peterson version, I made a solemn pact with myself never to undress a girl with my eyes. I made a solemn pact with myself never to undress a girl with my eyes. Mia Khalifa gave an interview in BBC, one of the most recently watched, widely watched, worldwide, world, widely watched interviews, you know, telecast by BBC in August 2019. She said, you know, I feel like people can see through my clothes. It brings me deep shame. She's talking about a life poster acting in the porn industry. She says, people, when they look at me, they see me through their clothes. It brings me deep shame. You know, what kind of look do you have? Do you have the David look or the Jesus look? The Bible says when Jesus looked at, the, looked at people, he didn't look for sexual gratification, but instead, you know, he felt compassion on them. He didn't feel sexual passion. He felt compassion on them. That's how Jesus looked at people. And the Bible also says in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 14, talking about false teachers, the Bible says, with eyes full of adultery, 2 Peter 2, 14, with eyes full of adultery, they never stop sinning. Think of that verse. 2 Peter 2, 14. With eyes full of adultery, they never stop sinning. Peter writes about false teachers. I want to tell you, my friend, if your basic problem in Christian life, and that is the problem of everybody, including preachers like us, how do I live a victorious Christian life? How do I get out the cycle of three steps forward and four steps back Christian life? How do I live a victorious Christian life? How do I stop sinning? How do I quit the practice of sin? When will that time come when I have mastery over sin? The, the thing is, it begins with the mind and also quickly graduates in the eyes. These false teachers could never quit sinning. sinning. They were always sinning because their eyes were full of adultery. So take care of what you watch. The streaming service shows that shows topless nudity. Quit watching it. Take care of what you watch. Be careful little eyes what you see. Be careful little eyes what you see.